Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video that's always really requested, which is to do a full face using only Maybelline products. So it's gonna be all drugstore, all Maybelline, but I thought I would take it up a notch and do my like go-to everyday glam sort of makeup using all of my holy grail Maybelline items. And those of you who watch my videos regularly who are my rock stars out there, know that there are so many products that I really do love and consider to be like my holy grails from Maybelline. So get ready. Some things may surprise you in this video that they're in here, but they really, really are. And this video is actually not sponsored by Maybelline at all. I just really love their products and I want to do a full face everyday glam using them. So let's go ahead and get get her started. Okay guys, so we're gonna start off with primer. You guys know the drill, Maybelline Master Blur Stick. This stuff is so bomb and that's why it's one of my holy grail products. Um, so I just go in right here on the T-zone and then basically towards the center of the face because that's where normally our pores are the most visible. So this guy's really great at making a flat canvas for makeup to lay on top of so that those pores are not as visible and your skin looks nice and soft and smooth. So I kind of press it into the skin with my fingertips once I have it on there. Bada boom, bada bing. Okay, so for the rest of the face, because we only use that primer in the middle of the face, I'll actually go in with this primer, which is also really good. So this is the Master Prime Primer Base to Blur and Pore Minimize. So a lot of times whenever I'm looking for primers, I do tend to go for either ones that are very hydrating if I feel like my skin needs it, or stuff like this that's gonna smooth everything out. So right away, your skin feels like a baby's butt. Okay, so then while we let that sit, I usually go in with brows. Now, Maybelline honestly makes some bomb brow products. These, I would consider both kind of my holy grail products, um, depending on what type of look I'm going for. So sometimes I tend to go with a pencil, and then other times if I want more of a bold brow, I'll go in with a pomade. But honestly, guys, both of these, so bomb. So first is the Brow Precise Micro Pencil, and I use the shade, I wanna say medium brown. It doesn't say, on here, unfortunately. But I'm pretty sure it's medium brown. I will have it listed down below um, in case you guys are wondering specifically what shade. And then the this is a newer product, but this is the Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade, also in medium brown. So good, I'm telling you guys. Like, if you're looking for a brow pomade that's affordable and from the drugstore, Mm, super creamy, super bold, and it really does stay on a long time. Um, even at the end of the day, your brows will still be on. But since today I'm doing more of like an everyday glam look, I'm actually gonna go in with the pencil. So you guys know kind of my routine by now. I go underneath, always blend upwards, and then I just start to fill in any of the sparse areas. And then I also outline the top area Bring it down. Woo, look how natural that looks. Like, honestly, that's one thing I really like about this particular brow pencil is that it just looks so natural when you're whisking it through the brows. And that's exactly what I am usually going for when I'm reaching for a pencil rather than my pomade. And just clean that up with some concealer right under the brow here. Mmm, look at those brows on a budget. Honestly, every time I use this pencil, I'm impressed once again. You know what it is? It almost has like a waxiness to it. So it's like the perfect amount of not too creamy, but creamy enough to really get those natural strokes. And because it like honestly does have a little bit of like a waxy finish to it, it really like gets those brows in formation. Love it. So for eyes, for my everyday sort of look, I'll just go in with a bit more concealer. Usually use like a lightweight one. There's no need to do like a full, 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 full coverage. Just a little something to cancel out discoloration. Then you just wanna set that down with a bit of loose powder. So I'm using the Fit Me Loose Powder. And then we'll go straight into shadow. This is one of my favorite palettes that Maybelline makes. It's the Lemonade Craze Palette. Um, such a cute little color selection. Look how cute it looks with the background. So I'm actually gonna take Coral Punch, which is just this really nice soft coral shade, which is something I love to do for everyday looks just because a little pop of color really brightens up the eyes, but it still looks wearable. Like it still is not gonna take much time. It's gonna look like, you know, you put in a little effort, but you didn't go too crazy, okay? You didn't spend two hours on your eyes today. That's the kind of look that I'm going for today. So I'm just picking that up on a little blending brush and then popping that into the crease. 
very fresh too. That's what I like about it, especially this particular shade. All right, there we go, super quick and easy. Then what I'm gonna do is pick up the Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Liner, and this is in the shade Bold Brown. When I say this is like one of the best liners I've ever tried, I'm not exaggerating. This is so pigmented, like one stroke and you get such creamy, bold pigmentation. Um, and what I do is actually take this and run this along the edge of my lash line. Oh, it's just so creamy, it makes me wanna die. I meant to say cry, not die actually. And then once I have it on there, I'll take an angled brush. This one is actually from Firma Beauty, which I've had forever. And I run that along to smoke it out. It gives your eyes more of like a feminine shape, especially when it's all blended in and everything. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. You, my OGs definitely know, I used to use this religiously back in the day and it's still such a bomb mascara, so definitely a holy grail. Honestly, Maybelline does some of the best mascaras. I really like it because of the wand, like I feel like it grasps onto my lashes really well. Okay, so then I'm gonna pop on some Batty B Sugar Baby Lashes. Maybelline doesn't make lashes yet, obviously, so I'm just gonna use these, but these are such a bomb pair of lashes for everyday looks. Like, honey, you're about to see some magic happen. They have like a bit of a winged out shape, so they just give like the most beautiful effect to the eyes, and they're really fluttery. Look how cute those are. These are my favorite everyday lashes because they're just comfortable. They look really nice. I love the shape. I call these my Tweety Bird lashes because you know how birds have, or like cartoon birds have like those, like the lashes that stick out on the side. That's what these remind me of, but they're so cute. Um, so moving on to foundation. I know y'all think I'm about to use Maybelline Fit Me, which is one of my all time ride or die products, as you guys know, but I'm gonna switch it up and I'm actually gonna use the Super Stay Stick Foundation, which is also one of my ride or dies. Um, I've been reaching for stick foundations more often lately and especially for everyday looks, I do feel like they're quicker to blend in. So I'm just gonna take the Super Stay Stick and apply it all over. Look at that match. This is in the shade 220 Natural Beige. And for those of you wondering, I use 228 Soft Tan and Maybelline Fit Me. So those are my shades. Oh, I love this foundation, so full coverage but so easy to blend in. Honestly, I still love Fit Me too. Don't get me wrong, don't get it twisted. But I feel like Fit Me is like my first love. Super Stay Stick is like my affair on the side, but I still love them both. And you guys know I always like to take a darker shade of the stick foundation and use that as cream contour. And this one is in the shade 356 Warm Coconut. Oh, that sounds so good, honestly. Love anything coconut. I'm just gonna blend that guy in and blend upwards to uplift the cheekbones. And you can take your blender that you've already used and press that into the skin as well because this one already has some of the lighter foundation shade, so it's gonna mix everything together really nicely. Honestly, I'm convinced lately that cream contouring is the only way to go. Like, I just really see a difference whenever I cream contour specifically with a foundation stick. It looks so bomb. Okay, so now for our concealer, you already know the drill, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I use the shade Medium. This has been such an OG favorite of mine. So I go underneath the eyes to cancel out the discoloration. And this concealer is pretty lightweight, so you can definitely go in with layers. I usually do two layers under the eyes and one layer everywhere else to brighten. But even just that, like, ooh, yes. It really does the trick. Mm. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Okay, so this next product is actually a newer favorite, but it's quickly become one of my like all time favorite products because of the actual payoff of the product. So it's from their um, Puma Maybelline collection, which I'm kind of sad because I think this is a limited edition collection. So I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out of this because I really do love it. Um, so this is the color and gloss face duo stick. So when you open it, it actually has a blush on one side and then the gloss on the other. This gloss makes the most beautiful, like beaming highlight, but it just looks like wet skin. It doesn't look glittery at all, which is what I love about it. So I take it on my finger and I just go right at the top of the cheekbone. Do you see what I mean? Like it just looks like I'm the Little Mermaid and I just got out of the water. <laughs> Look at this gloss. Isn't it neat? 
Wouldn't you say my collection's complete of makeup? Wouldn't you say I'm the girl, the girl who has a glossy face? <laughs> I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got highlights, powders, and liquid. You want color gloss sticks? <laughs> I've got 20. Just kidding, I wish, because it is limited edition. I'm pretty sure. Take a little, pop it on the tip of the nose, just add a little gloss there. And then right here, like in this little divot. Mm, mm. -mm. Mm. All right guys, so now it is time to set all of this down. So I'm actually gonna set the full face with the Maybelline Super Stay Powder in 312 Golden. And then we're gonna go in with the Fit Me Loose Powder. And this is in the shade Light 15. So I go in with the Super Stay all over the face just to make sure that everything is really nice and set down besides right here on the highlight because we'll go over with a powder highlight instead. Then I go in and bake with the Fit Me Loose Powder. Just pick it up on a little puff, or just press it into the skin. Sometimes I'll blend out the edges with a big fluffy brush. I love this brush for baking because it deposits a really nice even layer. So this is the Sigma Edge Kabuki F87. So now it's time for bronzer and I'm gonna be using the Maybelline City Bronzer. If you follow me on Instagram, you know how much I love this stuff. Like I've talked about it a couple times because it's just so bomb, especially for um, a drugstore affordable price. Like it works just as well as high-end products. And this is one of their newer products, um, but I just, I've fallen in love with it so fast because it's that bomb. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that straight to the cheekbones. We already have that cream contour down so we don't need to go in with like another contour it's just like kind of an all-over bronze and blending that together and I use the shade 200 it looks so good and natural all right then for highlight you already know what I'm about to use the Maybelline master chrome in molten rose gold this I have to say is probably one of the, the best drugstore highlights in the world a very bold statement but I'm sticking to it because it's just oh, it just it makes your cheekbones stand out like nothing else. And it really does have almost like a metallic finish to it. It's so pretty. And if you like a blinding highlight, you're gonna love this. But like, look at the glow. It's so beautiful. I actually really like all the shades. The Molten Gold, the Molten Rose Gold, and probably the Molten Topaz are my most used ones. But I really do like all of them. I've been using the Rose Gold the most lately though. Ooh, she is glowing. Okay, so for that inner corner we're gonna take it real back mm -mm -mm. Maybelline eyeshadow in the glow down this is definitely one of my I mean look how uh, no look how crazy it looks um this is one of my oldest rider dies like my OG, OG, OG writer dies. You can use this as a highlighter. You can use this as an eyeshadow. I'm today just gonna pop it into the inner corner, but like, look how beautiful that is. It's such a pretty inner corner highlight. You know, I like to really blend them with my inner corner highlights actually. So this is perfect. I'm just gonna pop that right there in the middle and then also underneath the brows. Mm. I almost forgot to nose contour, so I'm just gonna pick up some of the City Bronzer and go around the highlighter we put down. Okay, now I'm gonna plop on some blush and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade Rose. I feel like this is such a pretty everyday glam because it's not too difficult to do, but it really does look fresh and glowy and ready ready to take on the world. Okay, I'm the type of person that needs lip liner every day. So I'm gonna go in with the Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Totally Toffee. And just overline a little bit. So easy to work with, love it. Then for my lipstick, I'm gonna do this combo. Back in the day, do you guys remember this? This was all the rage. Vivid Matte Liquid in the shade Nude Thrill, so pretty. Um, but I am gonna go under it with the Baddest Beige Shine Color Sensational Lipstick. And right over that with the Vivid Matte Liquid Nude Thrill. I really like the combo of these because I feel like the tones just complement the eyes so well. We got a nice little everyday glam going. Um, last step, I'm just gonna go in and put some mascara onto these bottom lashes. I kind of focus on the outer corner. Baby bottom lashes just to match our baby wing on baby baby. If you watch my New York vlog, you know what I'm talking about. 
And there we go, drugstore, everyday glam using all my holy grail Maybelline products. Hopefully you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big boop boop thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos and join the Rockstar fam. And I'll see you guys in my next one.